Hello everybody and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Golden Shot Guide and Tutorial and we're going to take on the hard version and in the end before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content if you do want to crush either tour play or tournament play get our text guides on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy link in the description down below so Yes, this version was, or I would say like this, when we were talking about what hole we wanted to have for the golden shot, this was the one that I wanted to have based on the latest tournament. So hole number seven, this is also hole number four of the drum or links. And you can with the holy one get the obsidian chest, you do have the amber chest at, as the yellow ring, crimson chest as the red ring, aqua chest as the light blue ring and cobalt chest as the dark blue ring we're going to have a wind between five to seven miles per hour and we're going to play with the golden long iron every single time no matter what type of wind you're going to have if you do have more questions click the question mark on the top right to get to the frequently asked questions that also goes to if you do have any issues you press contact us and then you write in a ticket to the golf clash support Yes, we're going to play with a golden long iron every single time and we're going to play it with a maximum distance with a 20% over adjustment. That is the same as 1.52 per ring. But to make it even more simplified for you, you take a look at the top right there you see the wind on the left column and the rings on the right column. Which means that you're just going to follow that and then you're going to... Uh, then you're going to give yourself the right measurement. So for the VPR table it's very important to have in mind that the elevation adjustment is included in uh, the numbers that you see on the top right in the VPR table there. So if you have a 6 miles per hour wind you're going to adjust for a 3.9 rings. Very important to have that in mind so you're not adding or subtracting anything to something that doesn't have to have anything added or subtracted to. So to make it just as easy as possible. We're going to take a look real quick on the text guide. We're going to get back to that in the end. And as always, the text guide is made based by the adjustment here in the video from Tony Richardson. Make sure you, that you do subscribe to his channel. You have a link to his channel in the description down below. And here you can see that we do have everything. Landing position explained in, a de in detail. Then we do have the spin and we also have the VPR table on the right hand side. We're going to get back to that in just a bit so let's take a look about the la at the landing position so we're going to look for three things uh, to make this one correct which is a bit difficult but it's needed first we look for the yellow ring top part of it to be just by the rough line second uh, we're going to look for the blue ring just be where the bunker starts and then the third thing is going to be with the ball guideline pointing straight at the hole and for those of you that do want to make it even more uh, simplified with the landing position wiggle a little bit left and right and there you will see like a dead spot for the second bounce we just want the second bounce to be just on the right side of that so basically if you move left 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 and then you're gonna see eventually that the ball guideline is gonna get stuck and it's gonna keep going the same keep being on the same place with the second bounce even if you move more left and that's the spot that we're looking for sure you can go by just eyeballing trying to go straight at the pin but if you want to be absolutely correct that is the spot that you're looking for so you are going to see that obviously in the video and I think it's time so let's take a look at the nine shots in this golden shot guide first and foremost we're going to look for the landing position here because it is very very important to find the landing position before you're adding spin yellow ring by the rough line blue ring by the bunker line there and then we're going to in the end apply spin when we do have a headwind and a crosswind we do need to add the top spin and I would actually tell you here now that we're actually going to use top spin no matter what type of wind we're going to have and that is not as common in a golden shot guide that we're actually using top spin we're using almost one bar side spin to the right and almost one bar top spin trying to get somewhere in between and we notice here while hitting that shot that we're gonna get a little bit short 
and also coming in a little bit too much to the right because the green is slight making the ball to roll to the right and we need to compensate for that but we're getting the red ring at least and that is not bad but in the end you know me we want to be at least as close to get the yellow ring for, to be completely satisfied with our shot second shot here now we look for the landing position once again yellow ring by the rough line with the blue ring by the bunker line and then the ball guy line straight at the hole in the first videos here i'm not really looking for that dead spot but you're gonna notice when i'm starting to do that which is going to be with the, uh, the last two or three shots you're gonna notice how valuable that is if you find the time to do so 6.1 is going to give us four rings exactly and another tip here as well when you do adjust at we or uh, we normally go to pull our rings towards the bullseye but the bullseye is very blurry on on the golden shot long iron club but also many other clubs so the thing that i do is that i'm actually pulling over the bullseye to make myself a firm line when it comes to one of the rings there so i'm still adjusting four rings even though it does look extremely weird but i start at three rings then i pull over one ring so the bullseye wouldn't be won't be an issue for me as you can see how can you determine exactly where the bullseye is without really having any any spot there more than the yellow ring there one bar of top spin, and then we're gonna play a 0 0.8 a side spin to the right, and we're once again aiming directly for the hole. 5.5, we have a 3.6 uh, ring adjustment. Very important as well to have the ball centered in the adjustment ring there, because if you do have a slight left curl or right curl or over or under power, that is not going to help you. Very, very close. And we got ourselves the first yellow ring here, or at least we got ourselves a yellow ring, which is awesome. Ambushes in the house. And we're gonna see what cards we're gonna get. The thorn, that is good. Hammerhead, that is also good, especially with an account like this. So, 6.5, now we do have a Tailwind Crosswind, and a Tailwind and a Crosswind acts very weird. And when I say weird, meaning that even if we have a wind coming right to left, we need to actually use left spin here. I'm not using, the, using that here, but you're gonna notice that I will suggest that in the guide afterwards, or in the text guide there. And the reason is because we're using a 20% over adjustment, which is the normal adjustment that I'm using when I play this one regularly, like from the front tee. But it is an over adjustment that we are making. And based by where we are bouncing, we need the left spin with this type of wind here. Otherwise, we're going to come in like this, we're going to roll, and we're just going to miss on the right hand side. So a little bit of right spin, then we uh, sorry left spin, and then we're gonna be good. But in the end, we're gonna summarize in the end of the video here. Now I'm just talking through the videos, trying to give you as much information as possible when playing. But once again, structure is super up, super important. First, we're finding the landing position here with the yellow ring just by the rough line and the blue ring by the bunker line, ball guide line directly at the hole. And then in the end, we are going for the second part, like step two, we're going to add spin. And now in that tailwind, I'm just going to add 0 0.2 topspin, like just a click topspin here. We don't need more and we don't need less. And in the end, we're going to now for step three, we're going to adjust our rings. And step four is going to t uh, be take your shot. So you have four steps to follow, find landing position. And once you have done that, you're adding spin. Third part is that you're adjusting your rings. And fourth part is that you do take your shot. And once again, everyone, we slightly missed that one to the right. So we do need... Uh, to give ourselves a little bit of left spin here with certain type of winds and now we're getting some cards for our maxed out account here getting some berserker balls and this is going to be a good golden shot to actually give yourself some berserker ball or like to claim some berserker balls so you do have that because a berserker ball is going to be more and more important when it comes to tournaments especially that with a par 5 if you if we like the last tournament, if you didn't have any berserkers on hole number three, for an example, you had a major 
a major dif uh, higher difficulty than those that do uh, did have those type of balls. So just a couple of them will be totally fine for you. Now when we do have more or less a straight tailwind here, but I'm valuing this one as a sorry a straight headwind, a headwind and a crosswind. That is the the reason we fall short here is because I'm not obviously using you know enough topspin i would like us to use one and a click when we do have more towards straight headwind here because we are going to drop down into the sand with our adjustment getting some falcon cards which is nice and then two berserker balls and we go towards a tailwind and a crosswind coming right to left and now in the end we're gonna see what we're gonna do here look at uh, uh, here now I'm looking for the ball guideline directly at the hole with the references that we were talking about I'm still not starting uh, wiggling back and forth and I'm still using right spin with this type of wind now we do have more I would say more towards a direct side wind than we do have towards a tailwind and a crosswind but I think looking at the wind angle here we definitely have you know a little tailwind to adjust for Taking this shot with a perfect ball, and you're gonna see this one miss to the right again. In the end, we do have a perfect speed on basically every single shot, but we keep lip out on the right hand side. So therefore, we need to slowly start tweaking that, and that's why in the end, it's so valuable that I've been playing this uh, golden shot course uh, now 60 times, giving you uh, those little tweaks that you otherwise have to do yourself. So now we do have a headwind and a crosswind, but we do have more headwind than we do have crosswind. I would say kind of close to be just in between there. And now we're going to add one top spin and I'm going to use a little left spin as well, which is going to be one bar. And then we're going to adjust 5.6 and we look at the VPR table it gives us 3.7 rings. And we're going to adjust and then take our shot. Now you're going to notice that even though we're using one left spin here, the natural way of thinking here would be, hmm, we're gonna miss this one on the left hand side. But we're actually coming in very, very nicely with that type of adjustment. And I would also stretch it towards, if we do have more towards a, uh, a, a crosswind type of wind, with left wind included, then we're going to most likely have to add even more side spin because we're going to get the ball to bounce on a different spot as we do over adjust our shot. In the end, I'm not going to go into that many details on why the ball is bouncing on a different spot when we're adjusting here. In the end, it's the only important part is that the adjustment works. So just screw that. We're focusing on, on the shots here, just tweaking, just finding the same landing spot same uh, or not the same spin but those minor tweaks with spin and we're eventually going to get closer and closer and closer six miles per hour gives us 3.9 rings and then we're going to take our shot and uh, look for this ball to you know come at the pin but we are going to get this one to go in the hole Boom! And there you could also see when I was looking for my uh, my landing position, did you see when I wiggled a little bit uh, there going to the left, seeing where the ball guy, the second bounce did get like stuck and didn't follow more left. And that is a spot that would be absolutely ultimate if you find that. 18 Cataclysm cards on this account was absolutely amazing drop for me there. And in the end, ladies and gentlemen, this is... As always, a golden shot that is a golden shot is not simple enough that you just hit perfect and then you're gonna be there. You need to still make those minor tweaks. But I do believe strongly that we will see some hole in ones on this one. And I think it's a perfect opportunity for those of you that do have a very low amount of berserkers to stock up and also maybe go uh, get some of the good cards there. We're gonna take a look at the text guide. And summarize with the spin there in a straight tailwind we're using 0.2 bars top spin and 0.2 bars left spin meaning when I say 0.2 meaning just a click so if that makes it easy for you to follow then then follow that instead tailwind crosswind left to right 0.2 bars top spin and one and a half bar 
top uh, side spin to the left and then we do have a tailwind crosswind right to left 0.2 top spin and 0.2 bars left spin and that that's the same as with straight tailwind crosswind left to right half a bar of top spin and one bar a left side spin if we do have a crosswind coming right to left uh, half a bar of top spin and half a bar of a right side spin if we do have a right to left headwind crosswind one top spin no no side spin either to the left or to the right if we do have a headwind crosswind left to right one top spin 1.2 left spin and then we do have a final piece which is headwind and there we're only going to use 1.2 bars top spin we look at the uh, the landing position you see the three steps there in the guide Top of yellow ring by the rough. Top of blue ring by the bunker. Ball guy at the hole with the second bounce on the right of the of dead spot. Try to follow uh, the you know at least the first two parts. You're going to be able to follow easily. And then I would say ball guide at the hole. If you find yourself struggling with time and you're not finding that dead spot, then just focus on having the ball guide line directly at the hole. So here you do have the landing position and a bit bigger picture and I truly hope this is going to, not hope, I'm, I'm confident that this is going to go really well for you. So make sure that you comment in the comment section below what you got in your chest. Did you get the hole in one? Did you unlock the apocalypse? Or did you get something else that you're very happy with? Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching this guide for the golden shot. Hit the thumbs up as well if you enjoyed. Cheers everybody and have a really, really good Golf Clash day.